All right, given the rhombus below, find the indicated measures. So the first one I'm looking for is QPR. That would be QPR. So that's this angle right here. Well, that's easy. One of the properties of a rhombus is that the diagonals bisect the angles. So if this one over here is 30, this one has to be 30. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 30 degrees in there. Next thing I'm looking for is QTP. So QTP. Once again, this is just a property of a rhombus. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. So I know perpendicular lines make 90 degree angles. I'm gonna go ahead and write that up here. But they also cut each other in half. So the next question asks me, RP. RP is this entire diagonal. I know this side is six, so this side has to be six, and six plus six equals 12. Whew, I'm already three quarters of the way done. So the last thing I'm looking for, I probably should have gone ahead and like rebooted all this and like erased it, but if this is 30, we know this is 30. These are alternate interior angles. This green line would be a transversal. That would make this 60 degrees because this is a triangle. So we got 180 minus the 30 we know minus the 90 that's here in the middle. And that left us with this 60 right here. So when you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the ink just to kind of help everything look a little better. So we know this is six. We know this angle is 30. This one's 60. The angle or the side length opposite the 30 would be X. And the one that's opposite the 60 is X root three. So that's X times the root three. So to go from six or to go from X root three to X, you simply have to divide by root three. Use your calculator. So six divided by root three is two root three. That means this side right here is two root three. That probably went a little quick, not gonna lie. I know that's a little confusing. Go on the internet and Google special properties of 30, 60, 90 triangles. There's a bunch of videos.